The argument wasn't as to whether or not the weapons of mass destruction existed. The advice was inaccurate. That's fact number one. Let's roll. Peaceful efforts to disarm the Iraqi regime have failed again, again, and again. Weapons of mass destruction, destruction, weapons of mass destruction. This is not a question of authority. authority. It is a question, a question, a question of will. Weapons of mass destruction, destruction, weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein and his sons, and his sons. must leave Iraq within, within 48, 48 hours. hours. Weapons of mass destruction, destruction, weapons of mass destruction. Their refusal to do so will result in military conflict at a time of our choosing. Weapons of mass, weapons of mass, weapons of mass destruction. The government has decided to commit Australian forces because we believe it is right. It is right. It is lawful and it's in Australia's national interest. And again, weapons of mass destruction, destruction, weapons of mass destruction, destruction. Mr. Speaker, sir, with your permission, I should like to make a statement. Today we published, today we published a 50-page dossier, dossier, detailing the history of Iraq's weapons of mass destruction. And again, weapons of mass destruction, destruction, weapons of mass destruction, destruction, weapons of mass, weapons of mass, weapons of mass destruction. terrorists on the run. We're keeping them on the run. One by one, the terrorists are learning the meaning of American justice. He has not developed any significant capability with respect to weapons of mass destruction. He is unable to project conventional power against his neighbors. You might remember that I called him a man of steel. That's Texan for fair dinkum. What, what, what you gonna play now? We are determined and we are prepared to join other countries, the United States with other countries, to deprive Iraq, the Iraqi regime, of its weapons of mass destruction, weapons of mass its destruction, chemical and biological weapons, biological, which even in minute quantities, chemical, are capable, capable of causing, put it this way, death, death and destruction, destruction, death, day of horror, yeah, day of horror, death, death, and day of horror, and destruction, put it this way, death, day of horror, yeah, day of horror. Death is a day of horror like none we have ever known. We are determined. What, 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 what you gonna play now? We are determined. What, 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 what you gonna play now? Iraq has long supported international terrorism, including groups like Hamas and sponsored Hezbollah, many terrorist groups, Islamic Jihad, Yaishi Muhammad. That is the reason. Why do they hate us? Why I passionately believe Fair dinkum. that action must be taken to disarm Iraq. And we will. But let there be no misunderstanding. Death. A day of horror. Yeah. A day of horror. Death. Death. A day of horror. And destruction. Put it this way. Death. A day of horror. Yeah. A day of horror. Death. Death. A day of horror like none we have ever known. Why do they hate us? Parasites. What? 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 What you gonna play now? Why do they hate us? Parasites. What? 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 What you gonna play? A day of horror. Death. Death. Killers. Murder. Death. Death. A day of evil. Put it this way. Go home and die. In the fullness of time, it might be demonstrated that the advice was inaccurate. Go home and die. There's also another reason. But why? And that is our close security alliance with the United States. You believe in America. And I thank you. And America believes in you. The United States. You believe in America. Is very important. And may God continue to bless. The United States. You believe in America. Is very important. And may God continue to bless the United States of America. I
Australia is a Western country with Western values. Nothing will or should change that. They're not coming to the Australian mainland. That's one choice that is not available. A number of people have jumped overboard, 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 um, um, and have had to be rescued. Um, 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 more disturbingly, a number of children have been thrown overboard, 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 thrown overboard, thrown overboard, thrown, um, thrown, thrown overboard. I regard these as some of the most disturbing practices that I have come across in the time that I've been involved in public life. Clearly planned and premeditated. Disturbing practices. Disturbing practices. Disturbing. Disturbing. Disturbing practices. And anybody who would endanger the lives of their children in that kind of way, I find it hard to accept. I s certainly don't want people of that type in Australia. I really don't. I really don't. I certainly don't want people of that type in Australia. I really don't. I really don't. I certainly don't want people of that type in Australia. I really don't. We're going overboard to make you a winner. Overboard, 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 overboard. Throwing their children overboard, overboard. Of boat people throwing their children overboard. People who would throw their own children into the sea. The advice I had was they were thrown overboard. Overboard. That's what I was informed. Overboard. 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 Um, I think that's a bit offensive. As to the question of evidence, as you put it, uh, I'll make some inquiries and see what evidence um, can be made available. Now, you may want to question the veracity of reports from the Royal Australian Navy. Navy, I don't, and it is an absolute fact, children were thrown into the water. Overboard, 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 thrown overboard, thrown overboard, and it is an absolute fact. Um, 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 overboard, overboard. Um, Thrown overboard, that's what I was informed. Thrown overboard, and that's what I was informed. Thrown overboard, thrown overboard. And it is an absolute fact, 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 fact. Children were thrown into the water. Thrown overboard. Thrown overboard. Thrown overboard. Thrown overboard. Throwing their children overboard. I mean, I can't imagine how a genuine refugee would ever do that. I have now reached the conclusion that there is no evidence to support the claim that children were thrown overboard.
is my first time on Oud. Yeah, you like. <laughs> now your turn, let's see what you do. fight and win this war. We will direct every resource at our command, every means of diplomacy, every tool of intelligence, every instrument of law enforcement, every financial influence, and every necessary weapon of war. Whether we bring our enemies to justice or bring justice to our enemies, justice will be done.
Every nation in every region now has a decision to make. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. Message for our military. Be ready. Basically, this one is an expelling round. When we fire it, it dumps out grenades. 88 grenades dump out. It drops down, and some of them will bounce up and it'll get you about chest high. Why do they hate us? of mass destruction. Peaceful efforts to disarm the Iraqi regime have failed again and again. Iran aggressively pursues these weapons and exports terror. The United States and other nations did nothing to deserve or invite this threat. The Iraqi regime has plotted to develop anthrax and nerve gas. The United States of America has the sovereign authority to use force in assuring its own national security. Our war against terror is only beginning. That duty falls to me as Commander-in-Chief. And nuclear weapons, by the oath I have sworn, by the oath I will keep. Biological, this is not a question of authority. Chemical, it is a question of will. States like these, by the oath I have sworn, and their terrorist allies, by the oath I will keep, constitute an axis of evil. The United States and our allies are authorized to use force in ridding Iraq of weapons of mass destruction. Biological weapons of mass destruction. Chemical, Saddam Hussein and his sons must leave Iraq within 48 hours. Thousands of dangerous killers schooled in the methods of murder. Their refusal to do so will result in military conflict. Access of evil at a time of our choosing. Spread throughout the world like ticking time bombs set to go off without warning. And all Iraqi military and civilian personnel should listen carefully to this warning. We will develop and deploy effective missile defenses to protect America. Do not destroy oil wells or nuclear weapons from threatening the United States. You should listen carefully. Access of evil to this warning. Do not destroy oil wells with weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. Whatever it costs to defend our country, we will pay. The United Nations Security Council has not lived up to its responsibilities. So we will rise to ours. We will fight with the full force and might of the United States military, and we will prevail. believe that the effort that has been directed to this point has been sufficiently intense that it is highly unlikely that there were large stockpiles of deployed, militarized, chemical and biological weapons there.
turns out uh, we were all wrong, probably in my judgment, and that is most disturbing.